I think that was important to show you the theory of how and how to map sound to oh, anything. But I did want to show you what other little cheat. So in the tools section of our palette, we do have something called audio analysis. And what this is, this is, and if we actually dive in, we could see this just a more complicated, much more complicated version of what we did. But what this does is if I right click and put a null, whoops, I just destroyed my bindings. It's okay, we'll fix it and reset. There we go, cool. We can see that it does the work for us. So we can set the low, and if I hit viewer active, we can set the mid, set the high. By default, it has the famous touch designer file playing, but nothing would stop you from putting in an audio device in, just like we did. I'm gonna shift it to our, to my microphone here, okay. And we can see, whoops, gotta hit viewer active. You don't get the actual, what do you call it? The spectrum visual like we designed, but this also has a bit of a sensitivity threshold. So I actually use this quite a bit for many tasks and or pack it a bit if I need it to be more custom. It has, I'm not sure why my microphone is so low. I realized in system settings somehow it was set low. So be aware of that. All right, and that may have caused some things in their last video, but it's okay, you got the concept. Okay, and we could see, uh, yeah, that's much better. Look at those frequencies go. Okay. So the other thing you'll notice is that it has a something called, we have kick, we have snare, check, check. And these are kind of sending pulses. So why bring this up? And we could manually make this as well. Let's say I want to map, hello, hello. See, there's that mid range that's looking more what we're looking for. So I'm gonna map that to radius, this to radius, boom, boom. All right, and we can even smooth it. It's built in. Admittedly, this uses filter. If we were to really dive in here, it's using filter to smooth it. There it is. I prefer lag because I mentioned you have the peaks and decays, but whatever you prefer, maybe I'll turn that down a wee bit. Boom, boom, boom. All right, yeah, look at that. And we can plug a song into it, okay? But the thing here is I want you to see the snare going. and. One really important thing is that it is a, and maybe I'll turn down the thresh, boom, is that it's zero and one. So this could be useful for switching states. I'll show you, let's add it to our shape. Chop reference, boom, boom, boom. So we can actually see that it's switching between circle and triangle. And we can code this all up ourselves, just so you're aware, but Everything inside here relies on the concepts that I taught in our own version. So hope this is useful information.